Hi! Today I have to fix the pages from my comic diary to post a new comic in my Patreon. Yesterday I did three pages. They are about something that happened to me during a walk around in Barcelona. So today I already scanned them and I have to fix the blacks and add color and then post it on Patreon. And then I also have another assignment that I have to finish. I did three illustrations, sketches that have been approved for a client and now I have to color them. I, they already gave me a palette and I will base the finals on this palette. So let's get to work. It's the day after. I finished the comic uh, kind of late yesterday and posted on Patreon. Then I went to have dinner. After dinner, we went to the movies to watch The French Dispatch. It was really nice and it was really nice to see Angoulême as a background. We are very attached to Angoulême because it's the place where both Bram and I did an art residency in 2015, where we met and where we did our books. It's like a place where we live a year. We have a lot of friends still living there. We go to the festival. It's really a place we like and we know a lot of friends took part in some ways to the movie, so it was really nice to watch the movie for that reason. So today I have to do the illustration that I was supposed to do yesterday. <laughs> Actually, I have time until Friday, so I'm taking a little bit slow for that. And if I have some extra time, I'll start fixing some pages from a graphic novel.
So I inked for an hour and a half and now it's getting dark, it's 5.30. This is the result of the work. It's about a campaign about the odorant in uh, Christmas holidays, winter time. It was fun to draw. Now I have to take the brand palette and color it. use all of these. You're not allowed. Are they gonna? In our marriage three illustrations maybe the colors are not really coherent with what I see in the monitor but I'm happy about them I don't know if the client wants backgrounds colored or not but I will ask them but yeah I'm done <laughs> the final illustrations to the client and I got a feedback about changing a detail of a sweater v-neck into a round neck for one of the illustrations so today I have to do that little fix and then I should start fixing some pages for um, my graphic novel in Chandis TV because it's coming out in English and I'm super, super excited about it. The publisher asked me to do a few fixes on a couple of pages that have music quotes because they have to cut them out for the English version, which is gonna be called Summer Fires and it's gonna come out in March 2022. Let's start and I hope you don't get bored because it's just me doing little things. <laughs> I think it took me less than 10 minutes. It's a very simple fix. They thought this wasn't really working. They prefer having like a round neck. So I added a little bit of lines to give the feeling of a sweater. And it's been approved, so it's gonna come out very soon. This is the book. I published in 2015, it's been a long time ago. I still 
affectionate to the book. It's really connected to an important time of my life and it took me like a year to make, so I have a lot of memories. The style, it's a bit different, but I think it matches the story vibe. Different from now, I mean. I have to do some changes like, let's see, I can focus this. For example, in this page, I wanted to quote Britney because um, the story is based in 2001, the summer of 2001, and so I wanted to quote a song of Britney that I remember like watching at the time in TV. It's too much lyrics for uh, the American market. They are, they are worried that I could go into some troubles with copyright laws, so we have to remove part of the quotes. I have to change um, this quote, like quote, this t-shirt of Bikini Hill, which I really wanted to keep because they've been so important for my life as a young punk rock kid. And these kids are inspired a little bit by the same vibe. They asked me to remove it because it's on the cover and it could be like, again, another problem with copyright. I gonna remove it, but I gonna add Riot Girl, which is gonna keep the same culture in the cover. And I have to do other little changes like this. I gonna look at this list of stuff that I have to change and gonna start opening the pages and do these little fixes. from the zines they were making. I think I like this font better. <gasps> yeah, it's this, my book! This one's less. <laughs> oh my god. International Men's Day is a global holiday celebrated annually on November 19th to recognize and celebrate the cultural, political, and socioeconomic achievements of men. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Sodomia. Oh. Sodomia <laughs> and the devil. Voyar come nel paraíso o come un mal cristiano. Wow, it's very, very like detailed. I'm amazed. Like it's how many pages? It's a lot of like a lot of information. Over 200 pages. 
It's a lot of dicks. A lot of dicks. For men's day. Look. <laughs> Look at this. Revolución sexual, lo que sea. Gigantic dicks. So I just got Cristina's new book, my friend Cristina Daura, and it's about sexuality. It's the his illustrated history of sexuality. Super interesting. She did like another book about the history of women, which is super cool. And now they did this and the illustrations are crazy. Well done, Cristina. I don't know if this blog will ever see the light of YouTube, but bravissima, it's super cool. Can't wait to read and learn all this stuff.